the science cave here. I want to talk a little bit about pressure. And we've uh, we've been talking about pressure already in class, but I want to define it a little bit. So we're going to talk about pressure and sp specifically uh, air pressure. Pressure, air pressure, is exerted in all directions. Exerted in all directions. Yeah, let's draw my L there a little bit better. When you squeeze on a uh, good example of this, if you squeeze on a uh, oh a bottle of pop, bottle of soda, when you squeeze on it, and again you got the top on, that pressure is exerted equally in all directions. Well, air pressure when you're standing on the surface of the earth and you have the air pressing down on you, it is exerted in all directions. It isn't just from the head down or the side. You're in the atmosphere, and this atmosphere presses on you in all directions. And your body presses back at the same amount of pressure. Otherwise, uh, if there's too much air pressure and your body wasn't pushing back, you would, uh, it would crush you or if you had more pressure on the inside you would actually explode and your skeleton uh, frame helps to uh, to keep you upright and to equalize that air pressure so pressure is exerted in all directions uh, pressure is measured with a barometer and this right here is a barometer or I always like to spell it a barometer that is a barometer and it measures air pressure. I have one of these in my uh, in my room. Uh, you you may have one in your home somewhere. A lot of people have them for uh, oh, wall decorations. Uh, you know, we've talked about air pressure a lot already, especially dealing with the wind, where areas of high pressure will flow to areas of low pressure. Well, I want to Let's just mention some standard atmospheric pressures. Quite often you're going to see on the uh, on the news, you're going to see, oh, Bill Steffens, whatever, give you a barometric reading, oh, let's just say 29.30 inches of mercury. And mercury, and we've already seen this a little bit. Well, this is this is one way to measure pressure. And what it was, you had this tube of mercury, this tube sitting in a pool of mercury. This would be mercury in here. And when air pressure was higher, the mercury would rise in the tube. When there was less air pressure, the mercury would sink. And you know, that's uh how they got this whole idea of inches of mercury. Then this was measured in inches. You still see this quite a bit on weather reports. They'll, uh, they'll talk about this all the time. So one thing we need to be aware of is standard atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric. Standard atmospheric pressure. And this is always at sea level. At sea level. Oops, sea level. And in inches of mercury, this is 29.92 inches of mercury. So when we hear about air pressure, high air pressure, which we talked about, you know, that whole clockwise and the air is sinking and the, uh, the air is moving out. So anything greater than this is considered high air pressure. Anything lower than this is considered low air pressure. And again, that's at sea level. And you got to remember low air pressure, uh, the air is moving into a low air air pressure system it rotates counterclockwise and the air is moving up so inches of mercury and this is one you see on the news all the time the one we're really going to concern ourselves with is going to be what is called barometric pressure bear oops barometric 
pressure and we are going to the one we're going to see mostly and we're going to use in class and we already have a little bit barometric pressure is in millibars we are a millibar is a measure of pressure again milli you can probably guess there's probably uh, 1,000 millis in a full bar uh, like there's 1,000 uh, milliliters in a liter you know again if you know that prefix you know quite a bit well standard atmospheric pressure in millibars is 1013.2 millibars lowercase mb and again this is at sea level this is the one we're going to start using when we start uh well we start doing uh and we've already done isotherms we're going to look at isobars or lines that connect points of equal pressure i should probably put this in an isobar and it connects connects points of oops, equal pressure and we're going to look at this in a little bit more detail but the only thing really the big thing at atmospheric pressure is when we talk about high pressure you're really talking about something that is is greater than this and we talk about low pressure there's something less than this I think that Superstorm Sandy had a uh, air pressure like at 970 millibars which is pretty low and that's why it was such a severe storm they talk about the deepness of the low pressure in other words how low that pressure really is uh, when you have low pressure you have that air rising when we have high air pressure the air sinking clouds can't form and you get that nice weather well we're going to leave this at that uh, we'll be looking at it uh, more in class and uh, so we're over and out for this video